Hey there, boys and girls. North EMT88 here. Um, I'm going to be doing a, a medical kit for you, if you can't figure out by my uh, my beautiful artwork. Yeah, that's custom. Um, so, here we go. My medical kit. This uh, should be first off started with the disclaimer. I don't medically treat people off the job. I will assist people off the job with the things I know and the things I can do. Um, so that being said, um, I'm not going to go out and play paramedic with people um, on the street. I will, however, assist family, friends, friends of friends um, with the strict understanding that I'm not treating as a paramedic. I am assisting them as a well-trained, uh, well-supplied bystander. So that being said, I'm not getting sued to help you. So. Let's start this off. This is my UTG medical bag. Um, it's very similar to the medical bag, or to the other bag that I just reviewed, um, except this one's made by UTG and doesn't have mag pouches in the front. Pretty much the only difference. But that's pretty much it for the mag, for the actual bag itself. I'm going to back this camera up just a bit. Give you guys a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a view. I got my obligatory medic bag uh, patch right there. So let's get this started. First little pouch up front, gloves. Um, don't ever treat anybody for anything ever if you don't have gloves, some type of personal protective equipment. Gloves, goggles, a must. I wear glasses. Um, I always have eye protection on. Um, if you don't, just think about it. Um, helping somebody once, that's great. You get AIDS, you die. Um, you can't help more people in the long run. I'll never put myself out there and get hurt for someone else. Um, it's just I can help more people in my lifetime than I can with that one time. Um, kind of pessimistic, I know, but that's just the way it goes. It's you, your partner, your patient. That's the way it got to be. Up front here, these are just 4x4s. Uh, four just a simple gauze. Um, I would suggest this. This will stop 90% of bleeding. Everyone's like, quick clot, quick clot. No, this right here will stop bleeding. Um, I'm just going to pull some of these things out of the inside. Um, it's a relatively large inside compartment. I'm going to pull them out and I'm going to set them down so you guys can have a little better view. Sorry about the angles. I'm still working it out. First off, Sam Splint. These are amazing. I suggest you guys pick them up if you can. Um, these are amazing for splinting, uh, broken bones, sprains, um, anything like that. Um, I'll insert a picture here of uh, my buddy's arm that I did recently. Um, stethoscope. Um, I always have a stethoscope with me. Um, this bag I keep in my car. Um, so even when I'm off duty, I can, uh, I can d take lung sounds. I can listen for things. Um, there, there's a million uses for a stethoscope. Um, simply down to, is this an asthma attack or is she just fat and not able to breathe? Um, knuckle bandages. Um, well stocked. You don't have to use these on knuckles. They work fantastic for everything. And inside there, I also have some, uh, the little packages there are just antibiotic triple ointment. Um, one thing you might consider is they have dual antibiotic ointment. Some people are allergic to the triple. Um, just something to consider. Also, before treating anybody, ask for medical history allergies. So you're not going to make the situation worse. It's no, no good taking a simple cut and turning it into an anaphylactic reaction because you didn't bother to ask. Um, again, just simple band-aids um, full of antibiotic ointment. Um, just simple triple antibiotic. Um, most of the stuff, I mean, I, I live in a rural, or not, I live in a very suburban setting in California. Um, so this also doubles as my... Uh, get home bag, I guess you could say, but realistically, that's never going to be an issue for me. I live very close to my, um, to where I am. But just in case, I found these. My dad had these from when he was in the Navy. This is, uh, aviation land survival techniques. Um, it's like a little deck of cards, and it's just got little things. Um, I might do a separate review on these later, but I just have this in here because it's cute. It's something for me to look at when I'm bored. Um, so, that all is in my center compartment. Now, Let's move on to the side compartment. First thing, I mean, this is this is just basically um, four-inch sterile bandage. Um, 
if you can't find uses for this, you shouldn't be helping people. Um, and then down here, there is Coban. Um, people call them different things. It's Sensi Wrap, Coban. Um, if you go to a feed, uh, a veterinary feed store or something like that, it's called Vet Wrap. It's way cheaper there. Um, I would suggest getting that instead. Um, you're not going to be paying eight bucks a roll um, or borrowing from the ambulance, um, which I would never do. It's a terrible, terrible thing to do. Um, up here, I have my uh, my fuchsia slash pink trauma shears. Um, my old ambulance company thought no one would borrow the pink ones. Um, they were all gone the first day. So those are mine now. Um, if anyone asks, I did not borrow those. Um, thievery is bad. Don't do it. Um, and then up here in this little uh, patch O'Malley, I keep a blade. Um, it's just a little uh, auto assist crappy eBay blade. Um, it has a pretty nice edge on it. But the reason I keep this one is because it's got the little firefighter on it, a little FD. Um, it's got the seatbelt cut, and it's got the window punch. So uh, it's a little multifunction. Not a great knife, but uh, whatever. It's cool. It's got fire department on it, so if anyone does give me crap, um, I can always play the I'm rescuing people card. On the side over here, in the molly, I have uh, two pen lights. These are awesome. If you guys can pick these up. Um... Not, not the brightest lights by any means, but uh, it's got a pupil gauge on it, and it's just really good for checking out pupils. And if all else fails, I have two extra flashlights with me all the time. Um, also, in the center compartment, I failed to mention, I also keep a roll of toilet paper. Um, it's a little travel buddy roll. Um, this can be used medically, but it's also toilet paper, and sometimes you're just stuck on the side of the road. And like I said, I... Uh, this is my bag I keep with me in my car, so if the need arises, I'd rather have it than not. Um, down here on the side, I have a little Gerber sharpener, um, a crappy fixed blade with a paracord handle on it, there we go, and uh, a fire steel. So just in case the shit hits the fan... I can't get home, whatever, I can at least stay warm. I always have a couple bottles of water in my car, and I'll be fine. I also have a little triangular file, minus the handle. And that's pretty much getting close to the end of it. Over here on the other side, I've got two emergency blankets I always have with me, just in case, and a lighter. Um, I always have a lighter, I try to always have a lighter on me as part of my EDC, but, uh, best laid plans of mice and men, as some might say. Um, what else? Oh. Also, I have two, uh, quick clot sports sponges. Um, if you can't stop bleeding with this, direct pressure in a tourniquet, that guy's gonna die. So, it's irrelevant. Um, and then just a little pad, sharpie, and a pen because of uh, you gotta keep notes. If I'm doing, if I'm actually treating somebody, I want to write down histories and such. Uh, I'm running low on time. I'm sorry this is taking so long, guys. Um, up up in the front top pocket, I have a little spot for some crazy glue. Um, this is just awesome all around. But in case it fails, um, you can use this for stitches. Um, to close wounds and whatnot. I have a little bottle of Benadryl um, because 95% of your sleep aids are diphenhydramine hydrochloride, which is Benadryl. So if you look at it, Advil PM, Tylenol PM, they all have Benadryl added. And then I just have some simple 200 milligram ibuprofen tabs. Um, I pour them out into a little baggie so they don't rattle as much. I'm going to be doing the same thing with the Benadryl. I just picked this up, so I need to I needed to refill. But that's uh, pretty much my bag. Um, all I can say, guys, treat, do what you can within what you know. Um, anybody can walk around with quick clot in their pocket, but if they don't know how to use it, it's worthless. Um, don't be that guy that's going to make the situation worse. Um, just do what you can with what you know, and uh, I'll try to get back to you guys with some more medical videos to help broaden some horizons. But uh, thank you for watching, guys. It really means a lot, and I uh, hope you guys have a good day. Thank you.